Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to evaluate this very nice radical expression. Root c plus root 5 plus root 9 plus root 15 divided by root 1 plus root 5 plus root 12 whole cube. So, let's start. We suppose that this expression inside parentheses is equal to x. Let x is equal to root 3 plus root 5 plus root 9 plus root 15 divided by root 1 plus root 5 plus root 12. It means that this expression will be equal to x cubed. So, now our job is to find the value of x cubed. So, x is equal to root 3 plus root 5 plus this root 9 can be written as root 3 times 3 plus this root 15 can be written as root 3 times 5 divided by this root 1 is same as 1 plus root 5 plus this root 12 can be written as root 4 times 3. Next, x is equal to root 3 plus root 5 plus this square root of 3 times 3 will become root 3 times root 3 plus this root 3 times 5 will become root 3 times root 5 divided by 1 plus root 5 plus this root 4 times 3 will become root 4 times root 3. Now, in the numerator, we combine these two terms root 3 and plus root 3 times root 3. And we combine these two terms root 5 with this root 3 times root 5. So, this will become x is equal to root 3 plus root 3 times root 3 plus root 5 plus root 3 times root 5 divided by 1 plus root 5 plus this root 4 will become 2 times root 3. Next, x is equal to, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out root 3. Root 3 as common factor in bracket left, 1 plus uh, root 3. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out root 5 plus root 5 as common factor in bracket left, 1 plus uh, root 3 divided by 1 plus uh, root 5 plus this 2 times root 3, 2 times root 3 can be written as uh, root 3 plus uh, root 3. So, we write this uh, 2 times root 3 as uh, root 3 plus root 3. Now, in the numerator, this expression 1 plus root 3 is a common factor. So, we factor out this expression 1 plus root 3, this will become x is equal to 1 plus uh, root 3 as common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this root 3 and this root 5, in bracket left uh, root 3 plus uh, root 5 divided by, we combine these two terms uh, 1 and uh, root 3 and we combine these two terms uh, root 5 and root 3. So, this will become 1 plus uh, root 3. And we use parenthesis to make this a group plus uh, this root 3 plus uh, 
root 5. We use parentheses to make this a group. Now we take a reciprocal on both sides. So this will become 1 over x is equal to 1 plus root 3 plus root 3 plus root 5 divided by this expression 1 plus root 3 times root 3 plus root 5. Now we suppose that a is equal to 1 plus root 3 and b is equal to root 3 plus root 5. So this equation will become 1 over x is equal to a plus b divided by a times b. x 1 over x is equal to this a plus b over a b can be written as a over a b plus b over a b. So, this a will be considered over with this a and here left 1. This b will be considered over with this b and here left 1. So, this will become 1 over x is equal to 1 over b plus 1 over a. Now, we replace this b with this value 1 plus root 3 and we replace this a with this value root 3 plus root 5. So, this will become 1 over x is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 plus root 5 x 1 over x is equal to 1 divided by this 1 plus root 3 is same as uh, root 3 plus 1 and to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by root 3 minus 1. Plus 1 divided by this root 3 plus root 5 is same as uh, root 5 plus uh, root 3. And to rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide by the conjugate root 5 minus root 3 we divide by root 5 minus root 3. Next, 1 over x is equal to this 1 times root 3 minus 1 will become root 3 minus 1 divided by by using this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This uh, root 3 plus 1 times uh, root 3 minus 1 will become root 3 squared minus 1 squared plus 1 times this expression root 5 minus root 3 divided by by using this algebraic identity this root 5 plus root 3 times root 5 minus root 3 will become root 5 squared minus root 3 squared x 1 divided by x is equal to root 3 minus 1 divided by this uh, square will be considered or with this square root and uh, 3 minus 1 will become 2 plus root 5 minus root 3 divided by this square will be considered or with this square root and this square will be considered or with this square root and 5 minus 3 will become 2. Next 1 over x is equal to we write the common denominator this 2 and this uh, root 3 minus 1 will come here root 
3 minus 1 plus this root 5 minus root 3 will come here root 5 minus root 3 this positive root 3 will be considered with this negative root 3 and this will become 1 over x is equal to root 5 minus 1 root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and we take reciprocal on both sides then x will be equal to 2 divided by root 5 minus 1. Now to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by the conjugate root 5 plus 1. We divide by root 5 plus 1. This will become x is equal to 2 times this expression 2 times root 5 plus 1 divided by this root 5 minus 1 times root 5 plus 1 will become root 5 squared minus 1 squared next x is equal to 2 times root 5 plus 1 divided by this square will be considered with this square root and 5 minus 1 will become 4 and 2 1 times 2 2 times 4 so we get the value of x is equal to root 5 plus 1 over 2. Now because uh, we have to find the value of x cube so we take uh, cube of both sides at right hand side we take cube so this will become x cubed is equal to this will become root 5 plus 1 cube divided by 2 cube x x cube is equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus 3 a squared g plus 3 a b squared plus b cubed this uh, root 5 plus 1 whole cube will become root 5 cube plus uh, 3 times uh, root 5 squared times 1 plus uh, 3 times uh, root 5 times 1 squared plus uh, 1 cube divided by this 2 cube will become 8. Next, x cubed is equal to this uh, root 5 cubed will become 5 times root 5 plus uh, this uh, square will be considered with this square root the 3 times 5 times 1 will become 15 plus uh, 3 times root 5 plus this 1 cube will become 1 divided by this 8 x x cubed is equal to this uh, 5 times root 5 plus uh, 3 times root 5 will become 8 times uh, root 5 plus this 15 plus 1 will become 16 divided by 8 next x cubed is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 8 and in bracket left uh, root 5 plus uh, 2 divided by 8. Now this 8 will be cancelled out with this 8 and we are left with uh, x cubed uh, is equal to root 5 plus 2. This is the required value of x cubed. This is the final answer of uh, this problem.